Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove a Microsoft account from Windows 10. Uh, before we get going, please remember to like and share if this helped you out. Uh, please remember to subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer content like this. First thing we're gonna do is go down here to your start menu, bottom left. We're gonna come up a little bit, click on settings. In settings, we're gonna go over here to accounts and either it will auto load to the Your Info page. If not, uh, you'll, you can click over here on the, on the left, Your Info. It'll take you to the same spot. As you can see, there's my name, there's my Microsoft account, and I wanna get rid of this. I don't want a sign-in option again when I log into the computer. I don't wanna enter a password. I, I want it to kind of be blank. So to do this, I'm gonna come down to where it says sign in with local account instead. I'm gonna click on that. Are you sure you wanna switch? Yes, I am, I'm gonna hit next. Making sure it's you wants me to enter my password. I'll enter it there. And now it wants me to enter my local account info. You can keep your name. You can put in someone else's. This is an ASUS computer that I'm getting ready for resale. So I'm just going to call it ASUS. I'm going to leave the password fields blank because again, I'm getting this ready for resale. I don't want them to have to access a password. I'll hit next and I'll sign out and finish. Okay. So now that you've restarted your computer, you've signed out of that. We'll go back down to just confirm. We'll go back down to start menu, hit settings again, go back to your accounts, and again, your info or click on this tab to get you there. And as you can see, it's retained the name of my computer, local account administrator, but my account has been removed from Windows 10. If some of you have to sign in with your PIN again, it often does not happen, but every now and then one slips through the cracks and you will have to sign in with your former PIN again. If you need to deactivate that separately, you would go here to sign in options, click on that. Over here, Windows Hello Pin, you would click on that and you would see it as being enabled. Right now it's not because mine successfully deactivated that account, but some of you every now and then, one out of 20 of you, um, you may still have, have that pin left over, but this is where you would remove that option. So again, if this helped you out, please remember to like and share. Uh, leave me any comments or questions below. I do try to answer those regularly. Uh, and please remember to subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself helpful content like this. Thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.